Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Hardin versus Nelson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Hardin, you have opened your case today in hopes of saving your relationship with the defendant. You say, due to a misunderstanding, he is now denying your two-month-old daughter, Sophia Nelson. You are certain he is the father and once proven, you want his help raising your daughter. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Nelson, you refuse to lift a finger for a child that isn't yours. You say you are 1,000% certain you are not Sophia's biological father and claim that you know who is. Yes, Your Honor. All right. So, Ms. Harden, you say you need help. Delonte doesn't help me with anything. He doesn't help me financially. He won't pick up a diaper. He won't watch her for 15 minutes while I go to the store. He won't watch her for 15 minutes while I get in the shower. He walk past her like she Casper. When she cry, he'd be like, hey, get your daughter. Your daughter crying. Your daughter wants you. Get her, get her. He don't help me at all. One, I don't see why I should have to do all of that if I'm not 100% sure that I'm the father. Mm. My Not baby looks just like you. You denying Bro. her. She looks just like you. Y'all cheeks, y'all face structure, your forehead, oh, your look, eyes. Look like you. No, she don't look like me. I and look like so, my mom. And so, Mr. Nelson, you are basically saying that Miss Harden's testimony is correct. Mm -hmm. I really want to understand the nature of your relationship, how you all met. I met her when I went down to Louisiana with my family. I thought she was cool. Uh, she wanted to move with me to Arkansas. Um, Wait a minute, how did we get there? Right. No, that is not how I it went. I, it, yes, know. it is. So how did it happen, Ms. Hard? No, when he came down to visit with his family members, we became friends first, and then when it was time for him to go back to Louisiana with his family, he asked me, do you want to no, come with no, me no, or no, do no. you want to stay? I, no, I... How long was he there? Me. He was there for a couple of months. I said, you could come if you want to. I said, but the best choice for you is to stay home with your people. That's what people. I people. Mean. She won. So, she... but you win anyway. Yes. yes, I did. Yes, Your Honor. She came in. All right. And then soon after that, you find out you're pregnant. Yes, Your Honor. Tell me what happens when you find out you're pregnant. At first, I panicked because I didn't know how he would respond. He didn't seem like the person to want to have a kid. He didn't seem like a kid person. But, I mean... That's true. So, why were you having unprotected sex mm -hmm. with this young man and you didn't think he was the kid type. And why are you following behind him? I didn't really have anybody. My mom died when I was 12. My dad's not in my life. My grandmother, um, she's not really there either. <laughs> okay. Now I understand what's going on. That's all right. We come here to tell the truth. And if that's your truth, you say it. Yes, ma'am. So you were feeling alone in the world. Yes. Yeah, and I never really had nobody in my life talk to me, you know? Nobody, they would, like, talk, but they wouldn't listen to where I was coming from. They didn't listen to what I had to say, and he, he was there for me, and I, I gravitated towards it. So you wanted to have his baby because yeah. this was a person now that I, d I decided... I felt like I was gonna be with him for the rest of my life. Right. So take me to the birth. He was semi there, I call it. At least when I, I was started, there. A lot of, my... a lot of, okay, a lot of, but that don't count. That don't count. That don't count. That don't count. Either. He watched her be pushed out. He waited for my daughter to be weighed and wiped off, and he walked. He told me that's a white man's baby, and walked out of the hospital room. What? She, Cause she came out like really like. That's like, how she, she came out. She didn't look like that. She, she been in out. the womb. She, come on, I'm I'm black though. A black baby go come out with some type of blackness on them. Babies come out in all different shades and colors. That wasn't That's the real not reason an excuse. why. So, Miss... Mr. Nelson, did you sign the birth certificate? No, ma'am. No, Your Honor, I didn't. So you came there to support, but in your mind, you were like, this isn't my child, so I'm not signing the birth certificate. Yes, Your Honor. No, that's not what happened. What that happened? When, what I, happened. I, when we were on the way to the hospital, I called him multiple times and said, hey, make sure you grab your ID. You need your ID to sign her birth certificate. He left his ID at home on purpose, bought an empty wallet. Well, on purpose. It's on purpose. Same thing, yeah. So, Mr. Nelson, you say that you didn't sign that birth certificate purposefully because yes, you have doubt. Yes, Your Honor. And you've brought an exhibit to outline that doubt. Am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. You don't Please have no step up to the monitor. Okay, Your Honor. It all started. We went back to Arkansas, got our own place together. 
around that time, her ex-boyfriend, John, and his baby mother, which is Rachel at the time, didn't have nowhere to go. So they wanted to come stay with us. But that being her ex-boyfriend, I thought it was disrespectful. I said no, she still went along with it anyway. And I found that suspicious because if that was your ex and y'all had relations, why would you want to be under the same roof as him with me? So I got mad and I left during that time. But if he was with his new wife or girlfriend or fiance, why would it matter if they needed a place to stay for a moment? Because before I even knew her, um, they, all three of them, had sexual relations with each other. So I wasn't... I wasn't... Oh! Yeah, I'm not yeah, stupid. Sure it is. Nothing so th they had threesomes together? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if I'm not there, what's What is going on? Again? Right. Right. So, <laughs> Actual cases. Her car had come through and slammed me up against the toolbox. There was a torpedo coming at my face. Personal injury court cases everyone's going to be talking about. Eventually, they left. I came back. Everything was cool. I thought, you know, everything's fine. I was, you know, suspecting none because I had no proof until I went through her phone and I found text messages of John texting her, hey, baby, uh, you want some more? How you doing? This what? And that. Yeah. You yeah. want some more? She denied it. Um, three weeks later, found out she pregnant. And then three weeks after that... Went to the doctor. The doctor said she was two months pregnant. Mm -hmm. Oh, said. so when you calculated that, that put you back to that time when you decided you were going to leave the house. Right. The time when you thought she was having the threesomes. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. You may step back to the podium. So, now you believe the ex-boyfriend, John, is really Sophia's biological father. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Miss Harden... When we were going over that testimony, you were not vehemently denying anything. Correct. So you do admit that you were intimate with this couple. Yes, I do. And you admit you were intimate with them when Mr. Nelson left the house. No. So you weren't intimate with them then? Not at all. Uh, John will comment uh, on her Facebook and uh, when I'm gonna see my baby and this and that. It got personal when he actually texted her number saying, um, what we gonna do about our baby? Uh, you know that's my baby. So then he caught her. Like, so you he... say the ex was not only sleeping with her when you were gone, he now claiming the baby. Yes. When the Facebook post that he's speaking on, he didn't necessarily claim Sophia. He made a statement which, you know, uh, he was like, he was like, how my baby doing? And I don't, I don't necessarily that's think saying, he that's was... Saying his, that's saying his baby. But, I mean, we're from Louisiana. That's how you talk. Nah, hey, little baby. Hey, baby, what's up, baby? Nah. That's how you talk. Mm -hmm. John called my phone, so I put it on speaker, and uh, John was like, so what are we gonna do about our baby, bro? And I was like, huh? What baby? My baby does not belong to you. He was like, come on now, Pinky. We both know what happened when Delonte left. And I was like, what? what happened? So happened. the bottom line what? is your ex got on the phone... And claimed and, my daughter. And claimed your daughter. Yes, ma'am. Well, I want to see if yeah. he's going to claim your daughter in this courtroom. Jerome, please escort Ms. Harden's ex into the courtroom. Okay. I want to hear from him. <laughs> Have you come up to the witness stand? Hello, sir. Please Hello. have a seat. State your name for the court. Uh, John Patterson. Do you think you're Sophia's father? That's he what I want to know. No, it's, it's impossible. Yeah, now you don't. So like, why, was... why are, you denying are they testifying that you were on the phone saying, what are we going to do about our baby? You know that's my baby. I never said that. They're both no. delusional. You never claim this child. No, actually, I got I got text messages and screenshots with Pinky texting me asking me to take a DNA test for the baby because she thinks that the baby's mine. No, you. I text you. You after have that in your hand. Yes, ma'am. That's what it is. Let me see that. So this is a text message exchange between you and Miss Hart. So can you do a DNA test for me, please? We talked before, and you said you think she's yours. I just want to know. I mean, the timeline adds up. No, that's that's not true. When she conceived or whatever, I was in Louisiana. No, you weren't. 
You were there, but I didn't have sex with you. Like, you were I left. In she, my house. fact, she was... But wait a minute. If Mr. Nelson's the father, why do you need a DNA test with Miss Patterson when I you was said try... you didn't sleep with him? I was trying to prove to him that he wasn't the father. His family members kept coming and was like, that's no, not your no, baby. No, that's, that's not what baby. the text message said. Nope. Nope. I asked That's... him a question. I mean, you, you really said I you're a liar. You were because sleeping with me behind I've Rachel's been going back at one point in time. Girl, with this Stop female it. For, for a very long time. What did you say? He was sleeping with me at one point in time behind Rachel's back. Since you want to be up here and bat for everything, tell the truth. This that is was... why you're with Delonte. This, this is Wait, hold ago. on now. No, it was not. Me and Delonte yes. were friends. We had just started talking. Y'all met the last time. Oh, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. He we wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Let's yeah, don't cap. This is getting really? interesting. I would like to hear from Rachel. That would be Mr. Patterson's wife. Please step up, ma'am. Hi. Hello. I'm Rachel. Okay, so I want the, the, the back and forth calls with Pinky. Pinky's called me a week and a half ago telling me that John was obsessed with the fact of thinking that her kid is his. Mm -hmm. Try, I guess trying to make me jealous. Nope. As me and John got in an argument one time, and then he was being petty, and he was like, ha-ha, the baby is mine. He told me that. But, he, yeah. but we were arguing. We were yeah. arguing about oh. it. Oh! Yes, yeah. I did And he, say he that was being honor, petty because... about it. We were arguing. Yeah. But this is after she oh. kept calling me, telling me but I lies after lies. Shot, though, of him but she, you would tell me one thing and tell Delonte something different no, he every knew. time. No, he has she a password. All right, Miss Davis, thank you for your testimony. It You're was welcome. very enlightening. Now, you say... Your husband, Mr. Patterson, said he's the father. Mr. Patterson, you say Mr. Nelson is the father. Mr. Nelson, you say Mr. Patterson is the father. Ms. Harden, you told Mr. Nelson he's the father and Mr. Patterson he's the father. No, I did not tell John he was the father of my child. That's not true, though, because I've got a series of text messages where you're asking him now to DNA test because the timeline adds up. Those messages were after... This was, this was all brought up. I didn't claim he was my baby daddy. If you sent a text to Jerome and said, Jerome, so, can you do a DNA test for me, please? What would you think at that point? That I slept with her. <laughs> okay, well, I Damn. know who my baby daddy is, and it's not him. Okay, so here we go. This is a mess. I say this in this courtroom all the time. Sex is not a board game. It's not like... Monopoly where it's better if you play with more people. It's not. <laughs> it really isn't. It just gets messier. And at the end of the day, y'all just all up here arguing. So all this little sex and, and, and now we gonna have a threesome and now we doing this. No, that, 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 that's not really how it works. And listen, if that's what you wanna do, that's your business, but protect yourself. Because how dare you bring an innocent baby into this nightmare? And I know you don't want this for your child, Miss Harden, after what you testified to that you've been through. That's Do the you? reason I'm here. Jerome, I'm ready for the results. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Harden versus Nelson. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Pertaining to whether Mr. Patterson or Mr. Nelson is the father of two-month-old Sophia Nelson. It has been determined by this court the biological father is Mr. Nelson. Oh. You are the biological father. First off, I just want to say I apologize to you for accusing you, but you know, was, you gotta see from my point of view, my shoes, I just want to know the truth. Like, cause if I'm gonna be here, and we is gonna do this. Well, can you get a relationship with her now? Can you yeah, help me course, with her? Of course, of course. Provide for her? Of course. Watch her while I get the shower? Of course. You already know how I get down. Of course. I don't play that, but I'm not... Nah, he know what he was doing to, to cause all this, to stir all this up, my Listen, doubts. can't make a mess, then be mad that it's messy. That just don't make no sense. 
I was brought, I just want to say, I was brought into, into this it. mess. He, I didn't start hold nothing. on, hold on. I don't do drama. This is the lesson we have to learn here. If we don't get better, then Sophia grows up and 20 it. years from now, she's standing up here talking about well, my daddy did this and my mother did this and I was looking for love in all the wrong places and now I don't know who my child's father is. You know it. I know you know it, Miss Harden. And I know that's why it pains you so much. But you had the courage to come in here today and talk about the ugly truth so that we could get to the real truth, which is you and Mr. Nelson are the parents. You gotta grow up now for this baby. You have to ask questions. And there's no shame in just saying, I need help. And we're gonna get you some. I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned.